I'm gonna try the craziest aimbot controller settings that I can find. To do that, first I need my Chronos set. Just kidding, these things are actually garbage. What I really need to do is figure out who has the best aim on controller and then figure out what their settings are. So I went in and did my research and the two controller players that I found that have insane controller aim is TK and Slappin. These guys have such crazy aim in so many situations that it literally seems unfair. But before I show you their settings, I wanna show you guys a super cool Fortnite app called Fortnite Tracker, who's actually sponsoring today's video. Fortnite Tracker is a free PC app that provides real-time tracking of all your stats, even showing the stats of teammates and players you eliminate or are eliminated by in real time. The app has a cool game modes overview where you can get a summary of your performance in your recent matches of solos, duos, or squads, or even look up other players to compare your skills to. Not to mention the many other features like seeing tournament performances, earnings, power rankings, and a ton more. If any of this sounds cool to you, you can download Fortnite Tracker for completely free using the link in the top of my description. Now back to the video. For the first player, it's Slappin, and he's more of a creative warrior, but his aim is so crazy to the point where so many people accuse him of cheating. The second player is TK, and he's mainly a competitive player, but he's most known for just being an insane fighter. And I think like 70% of the reason why he's such a good fighter is literally just because he has such good aim. For the first best controller aim settings, these are gonna be from Slappin, and Slappin is gonna start out all the way up at a .25 slide hold time. His camera settings are the default default pitch in point one. If it matters, he has his look in ADS at seven. His build sense is actually 2.2 and edit sense is 2.3. On his look sense, both horizontal and vertical are the same 41% with no boost. His ADS sense at both horizontal and vertical is 10% with no boost. His look dampening time is zero seconds and he actually plays on exponential. It's actually crazy because I've been playing on exponential for the past like week. So I'm actually excited to see how good my aim is on these settings. And for his dead zones, he actually goes up to 15% on each stick. Now we need to actually try these settings to see if they really are good for aim because there's some players like Re and Okus that have insane aim, but I really don't like their settings. You know, one thing that I don't think most people realize about controller players is that most of them have been playing shooter games on controller for longer than just Fortnite spin out. Like these guys that are getting accused for cheating have literally been practicing their aim on controller for probably over 10 years. I don't even feel like my aim is that crazy and even I get accused of using a Zen or using strike pack mods. Let's go. Like I was saying, I literally have a hand cam in every single one of my videos, and I did buy a Zen for content, but I keep it up on my shelf in my face cam that's visible in every single video, so you know that I'm not using it. But I'm saying that because I get accused of cheating, and I don't play this game nearly as much as any pro player does. So you can imagine, someone that plays this game way more than I do, like, it'd be very easy to accuse them of cheating, because they're gonna have good aim. Oh, let's go. You must have literally had zero mats. Yo, so far, this aim is actually really good. I'm actually, like, decently surprised. The only exponential settings that I've ever really liked are Foxman's. However, these settings are definitely giving those ones a run for their money. This zone is actually so tiny for 15 people to still be left. I'm about to box up here for a second. Now, going back to this aim thing really quick, I don't think people realize that training your aim in other games can make it translate to Fortnite. But, like, I started playing Call of Duty probably 10 years ago, and I would definitely say that I played it kind of a lot and always kind of claimed that my aim was pretty good in it and i was definitely always a sniper in that game so my literal first it was actually my second game ever on fortnite my first kill on fortnite was literally a quick scope i feel like that alone shows how aim can translate to different games So I think when some people start to accuse others of cheating i just don't think a lot of these guys realize how much experience these players have in game why would he go in here <laughs> Let's go. Hitting all my shots. That's what really matters here. I don't even feel like my builds and edits are bad right now either. And it probably is because I've been playing on exponential for a while at this point. 
There is no way. I don't know why my builds didn't connect. That's actually so annoying. Those settings of slapping actually surprised me. My aim was way better than I thought it was going to be on them. But now I'm going to try TK. TK actually is on the opposite of the slide hold time at the lowest possible one. His camera settings are still pitch in point one. Over here in looking ADS, he's actually using four for both of those. On both his build and edit sense, he's using 2.1. For his look sense on both horizontal and vertical, he's on 43% with no boost. On ADS, he is also on 10% with no boost. He has zero second dampening time and then he's actually on linear. So we're completely changing input curves and he's on 10, five dead zones, but that doesn't matter. So now we are fully changing input curves. This actually feels so weird. I haven't been on linear in probably almost two weeks. That might have an effect on how my aim does, but let's go try it out. Oh yeah, bro. This long range aim is actually so much more difficult on linear. Bro, what is this? I actually can't do this. I knew it was gonna take some getting used to, but holy dude, I feel like I can't hit shots. And this ADS sense is slow, like it's not even fast at all. No way. I mean, right now I'm a little biased because I'm really used to exponential, but this sensitivity actually seems so much harder to aim on. In those long range shots, I'm really just not hitting, and this is low ADS side. My shotgun aim definitely felt a bit shaky there. I'm gonna give this one more game and we'll see what happens. What's really interesting is I was actually very heavily considering turning back to linear, but now after putting on these settings, I don't think that I want to. Oh, okay, that was pretty. That's the kind of stuff that I'm honestly not sure if I'd be able to do on exponential. Just because it was so fast. Really, dude. Let's go. I'm starting to take back what I said. No, bro. Still some decent shots to end it off on. Honestly, at this point, I feel like if you like exponential more, then go for slapping settings. If you like linear more, go for TK settings. Or, I mean, I honestly don't think that you can go wrong with either. I think that if you're a relatively newer player and you're not that great on controller, then I definitely think exponential would help you more, but you can always just adapt and learn linear. So those are the best aimbot settings. Thanks for watching.